Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to close Epic Games Launcher. So if you have Epic Games Launcher running, so you can go to this hidden, click on this arrow and then make a right click on Epic Games Launcher icon and then click on exit. Once Epic Games Launcher is closed, make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager. And if you see Epic Games Launcher or Epic Services running, so in my case, I've already closed it. So if you find Epic Games Launcher or Epic Services running, you can just make a right click and then click on end task. This is just an example. If you find Epic Games Launcher or Epic Game Service, then you can end the task and then check. Now, the next step is to update Epic Games Launcher. So to update Epic Games Launcher, uh, you can launch Epic Games Launcher. At the top right, you will see your profile icon, click on it and then go to settings. If there is any update over here, you will see update option. So hit update, update it and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can uninstall Epic Games Launcher. So you can just type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to uninstall a program option and then find Epic Games Launcher in the list. Once you find Epic Games Launcher, you can make a right click on Epic Games Launcher, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to reinstall Epic Games Launcher. So you can install the latest version of Epic Games Launcher. So you can go to, uh, in Google search, you can type in Epic Games Launcher, then go to Epic Games website and then you can download the Epic Games Launcher and then install it and then check. Next step is to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to system, go to display, then scroll down, go to graphics. And then over here, click on this down arrow, which says advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, you can turn it on and then check. If this is already on, you can turn it off and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder, open this game folder, binaries, win64. Then over here, you will see the game exe file, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, go to properties, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, make a right click, go to properties and this time over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, go back and do the same thing with the first exe file. Now, when you put a check on all these exe file, uh, when you put a check on all the boxes in the exe file, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then make sure that you hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to run uh, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and then check if you have if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game installed in this location. So open the game folder, open the game folder over here, binaries, win64, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add an allowed app. Once again, click on browse all apps and go back back and then select the game exe file the first exe file and then click on open and now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow the app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the open this exe file click on open 
and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then go back and then select the first exe file and then click on open and then click on add once the game is added in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename the save game files now to now before you rename the save game files let me inform you that you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so make sure that you create a backup first to create a backup first of all you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder over here you will see the game folder you can just create a backup so copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop just create a backup once you create a backup now you can rename this folder in my case i have already renamed this to dot old you can rename this and then go back again back no, sorry open app data and then open local low scroll down and over here when you scroll down you will see this uh, level 5 folder you can just make a right click and then you can first of all create a backup so copy this folder paste it to the desktop just create a backup and then you can rename it to in my case i have already renamed it so rename it to dot old now you can launch the game and then check but you will lose all the saved game progress if to start everything from scratch next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working then try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab uh, sorry sorry go to the general tab and then go to the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check still not working in that case go to properties once again this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then check close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then launch the game disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general uh, general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn this off if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay or you can simply close all the steam over uh, close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card you can go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder 
again open this game folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game now we can see gpu preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card again scroll up and then you can go to add desktop app and then you can go back select the game exe file over here and then click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then again select high performance you will see a graphic card now you can launch the game and then check still not working install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio uh, files uh, you have to install this x86 and x64 version so download this x86 and x64 and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed and then you restart you can be a restart you must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last tip is to 
next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have OTAs, wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel